Hello everyone and welcome to Scale Car Models. I am Rick Arter and today I'll be taking a look at the Ravel Mickey Thompson Challenger 1 model kit. This is a 125th scale kit. It is part of the Motorsport series from Ravel. It is also a skill level 3 which will require you to have paint and glue to assemble the model as per directions. Taking a look around the box, you can see here on the front they have a nice photo of what the model could look like if you build it as per the directions. They also have a nice photo of Mickey Thompson himself, which is pretty cool. I know a lot of younger people might not know who he is. I know you probably see the Mickey Thompson slicks and everything, but yeah, he was actually a, a really famous person who did a lot of stuff with racing and everything like that. So moving on, you can see here they have some information as well as a paint guide. There's 186 parts, 9.5 inches long. And then there's just some general information here. Everything's molded in white. You have your clear parts, chrome plated parts, everything like that. And you can see here they have some photos. And they also include a pre painted Mickey Thompson figure to put along with the model, which is really nice. The kit states that it was released in 2012. However, it did not come out until March of 2013. And you can see. Upon opening up the box here, you can see everything's nicely bagged up in individual bags. You got one large bag here with all your white molded parts. Bag with your small skinny salt flat style tires. Chrome plated parts tree looks to be pretty nice. Your decals, take a closer look at those in a second. And here's your pre-painted figure. Take a good look at that in a minute as well. Cover for the decals. I wish they'd put these decals like AMT does with the uh, cover on them, the plastic. Here's your instruction sheet, pretty general. Ravel monogram style here, the picture and the information there, as well as some stuff for building the kit there. And you have your paint guide as well as a parts countdown. And then you have some nice exploded diagrams of all the parts layout here of how everything goes together. And on the back, you've got your decal placements. So everything looks good. Now let me take all these parts out and we'll get a good look at everything. Here's your 125th scale Mickey Thompson pre-painted figure that they include with the kit and the detailing is excellent. And I'm going to leave all this stuff in the plastic bag so I do apologize for that but I'm going to keep this as nice as I can until I decide to build it. You can see here's your chrome plated parts tree. Everything looks amazing on here. You have all your parts for your four engines as well as your salt flat style wheels. And I believe these are the differential housings here, the quick change style housings. And you have some other parts here for your blower and injection setup. But this has four engines in it and four transmissions. I believe that's what these are here. So they're all connected together and they go to the drive wheels. So it's a pretty unique and pretty sweet setup. Here's your included tires. These are pretty soft vinyl and they're actually slicks. So you could probably either leave these as is or you could uh, sand them down a little bit to give them a worn look. But either way, they're going to look excellent. And here are the decals that are included. They don't include a lot because there wasn't a whole lot in the car. Just what you need here. So overall, everything looks good so far. So let's break into these white molded parts. And I'll show you guys all what comes in there. Here are all the white molded parts that come in the kit. There are all kinds of parts trees with all kinds of detailed parts. I'm just really amazed with this kit so far. And I haven't really even looked into it that much just taking the parts out of the bag and laying them down here for you guys to see but just the fact that this thing has four engines in it I mean that's gonna be work enough but the detailing on all the parts is just phenomenal so let me show you guys a quick look at this so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at here quick look over all the parts in detail and one thing that I noticed unless my kits missing it but I looked in the instructions and I didn't see anything about it this kit doesn't include any glass here's your little cockpit area and I believe from what it looks like you just put this on there and that's all you got I believe but overall I mean like I said the detailing of all the parts is amazing everything looks great I don't see any issues um, possible fitment issues because you got all these little parts and you have a multi-piece body with removable body panels so there might possibly be some issues but I don't think it's going to be anything big. This is definitely a kit that you want to store properly to ensure that all these pieces stay correct. And the big highlight, like I said, is the four engines that are included. Two of them drive the front axle and the other two drive the rear axle, which is a very unique and awesome setup. And the 
way that they have these engines set up, the detailing, I mean, you could almost build this thing in like an in-progress type of build, as you can see here. I really like this kit for the engines alone. But the history behind this and everything is just really cool, and that's what kind of makes the kit, because Mickey Thompson and, and just what it's done. But overall, guys, there's a quick look at all the parts. Like I said, everything looks great. After taking a good look at the Mickey Thompson Challenger 1 model kit from Ravel, I definitely recommend the kit. Everything looks excellent. I love the detailing on the included engines and the removable body panels that they have in the kit. A little bit of fit issues here and there I can see and a little bit of flash and some small mold lines and everything here and there. But overall the kit is excellent and it's very unique and it's really something that goes back as far as racing history and everything with Mickey Thompson. And they include the pre-painted 125th scale figure so you'll always have Mickey Thompson with you once you build the model and have it displayed on your shelf. So that's pretty sweet. So like I said guys, definitely check this kit out if you have a little bit of extra money or you want to start something a little bit different. And it should be, like I said, it should be a little bit of a challenge getting all four of those engines in there. And if you wanted to go the extra mile and detail them up with some wiring and hoses, that would just make a, you know, a show winning piece right there. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. You guys all have a great day. Lots more videos to come.